Hi guys! I finally got back to Arduino again after a year's break. I'm planning to automate watering of my house plants in the future, so let's take a look at the two sensors related to water and moisture today. Let's start with the water level sensor. It is a resistive sensor with a 1 mega ohm pull up resistor. Basically, the resistance is inversely proportional to the height of the water. The sensor produces an output voltage according to the resistance, thus indicating the water level. Let's move on to the moisture sensor, which is a capacitive sensor. A capacitor consists of three parts, a positive plate, a negative plate, and a space in between the plates known as the dielectric. Water contents affects the dielectric. The advantage of capacitive soil moisture sensor is that they are made of a corrosion-resistant material, giving it a long service life. Connect ground to the minus, then power to the plus, then A0 to the signal on the water level sensor. The sensor is not designed to be fully submerged. Be careful to install it so that only the exposed traces on the PCB will come in contact with water. Let's take a look at the code. I have switched from Arduino IDE to Visual Studio and Platformio, as it becomes easier to maintain a more complex code with it. The code stays the same, only Arduino header is required, together with function declarations if you use any in your code. I will be connecting the VCC pin to a digital pin 5 of an Arduino and set it to high only when taking readings. This should help with extending the short lifespan of the water level sensor due to corrosion. I got these values when calibrating the sensor for the water at home. Don't worry if your values are different, they depend on the hardness of water as well. You can find this code on my GitHub page. Link will be in the description below. Let's do a quick test and see how this code works live. Measurement is in 5 second intervals. I will connect the capacitive moisture sensor to the same Arduino pins as before. So I was thinking that for this example I would like to use an LCD display as well as the serial monitor. I use the schema to do the wiring. Although it looks complicated, it's quite easy. Only a bunch of jumper wires and a potentiometer are required. Let's take a quick look at the code. I'm using the liquid crystal library for the LCD display. Otherwise using the same variables as for the water level sensor. To calibrate the sensor, only two values are required. The air value, when the sensor is exposed to air only and no water. Then the second value is water value, when the sensor is submerged in a cup of water. To get the soil moisture percentage, I will map the values between these two ranges. Let's look at a commercial moisture sensor. There are three ranges, dry, moist and wet. I'm going to use the same names for the three intervals. Let's test it out on a real plant to see if it needs watering. So 
So going forward, I will be using the moisture sensor in my next project. Stay tuned for the updates. You can find a link to the code in the description below. Bye for now.